Only if you can, cause... It's just a crazy guy. Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome to Game Time Fun Yay. This is our very first installment of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm legitimately ner I'm I'm playing right now. Uh, and I'm legitimately nervous. Yes. It's Roman's uh getting back into Assassin's Creed after a long time of not playing. It's Roman's getting into it. <laughs> There's really no back. <gasps> I played three and didn't know what was going I still don't know what Abstergo is, honestly. Abstergo is Basically, the Templars in the present day. What What's a Templar? It's the opposition to the assassins. Oh, well, uh, that's what Nathaniel was in three. Yeah, yeah, Nathan or Hatham. Hatham, Hatham whatever. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. This kid looks really pretty. That's Bishop, and she's like the outreach for the assassins. Because the mentality is that right now you work for the assassin order, but you are not an assassin. Like you as a player. Was she in three? This girl? No, she was introduced in Unity. Is anyone from three gonna be in it? Yes. Um, you're did, gonna see them in a second. Is the guy from three actually dead? Desmond is dead, at least as far as we know. But these are his friends, Rebecca and Sh uh, Sean. And they're from three. They're from three. They're from, I think, Brotherhood onward. Okay. Uh, when are they gonna bring Desmond back? Um, they have to find a mad, uh, I didn't queue up a joke. They're gonna resurrect him, because secretly Desmond's Jesus. That's a joke. I See, don't I don't know, know if you're kidding. <laughs> 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 I don't know anything about this game. Um, but did you ever watch Lost? Mm hmm I like, Desmond was my favorite character in that show. He was awesome. Yes, he was good. Hi, brother. Put everyone brother. In the last season, when he was just so at peace with everything? Yeah. Um, so Desmond was the guy from the first two as well, right? Yeah. One through three, you were Desmond? Yep. And then starting with Black Flag, it switched to like a first person perspective. So like the player is a part of the story now. And that's how they've all been? Uh, Black Flag, Unity, Rogue, and now. Do, you, do we have a name? No. It's just you as like a hacker identity. So how do, why are we in the past now? You... It's your job to go through the memories of Jacob and Evie Fry, because the modern Christ. day <laughs> the modern day assassins are also in London, looking for a piece of Eden, and they're looking for the What's shroud, Eden? which has rumors to resurrect people. So maybe they could resurrect Desmond. Um, why are Jacob and Evie? Jacob and Evie are important because in 1868, I think London, they knew where it was. So if you live through their memories. You might be able to find out where they put it. Gotcha. Because it surely hasn't moved. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> the last 250 years. Like in Assassin's Creed 3, Connor had a piece of Eden, and he hid it. Oh, okay. And then you'd find out where he hid it, so you knew where to go. Because surely it wasn't moved. <laughs> <laughs> Same joke. <laughs> no one ever dug it up. Yeah. Yeah, the Native American guy buried it, and we never thought to dig there. He buried, when we, when he buried we, uh, it in the grave of his mentor, and we never thought we should probably rob that grave. When we like, you know, we're busy taking all of the land and making strip malls. We didn't touch that one, <laughs> conveniently enough. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> but right, <laughs> like. Thanks a lot, Columbus. Yeah, way to go, dude. As we're sitting here in what was once <laughs> like just beautiful land, playing this video game. Um, do I need to see all this? Not necessarily. It's telling you that London is important. Whoever okay. controls London controls the world in this time period because of the indu industrial revolution. Oh yeah, revolution. that makes sense. Uh, can how do I skip it just so we can get to the game? I don't think you can because technically it's user one's first time playing through. Okay. But it's it, it's not super long. I think I just did, or is that fade out natural? I think the fade out was natural, and if not, okay. hey, you found out. It's to very it. long. Do you think they'll ever make a modern day Assassin's Creed? They've said that they don't want to. Because Why? too many games deal with the present day. Oh. They said, what about like, the future? What about go far sci-fi future? That could be cool. I feel like it'd be so more that's, uh, to that's do Jacob that. and Evie, right? Yeah, Jacob and Evie. And then this guy was friends with their dad, who is now dead. Okay. Are they assassins? Yeah, they're all three assassins. Because their, their dad oh, yeah. was an assassin. Gotcha. Uh, has their dad showed up in any other game? No. Okay. Not that, I don't think See, it'd be kind of cooler if it followed a lineage. Yeah. 
Well, that's what Desmond was. Desmond was a descendant yeah, of all yeah. those people. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I thought that was kind of cool. Now I just kind of got away from that. Uh, so we're thinking for this game, everybody, that I'll play as Jacob and he'll play as Evie. Because uh, Evie is a little more stealth oriented, and since he knows Matt, knows the mechanics of the game a little better, that makes sense. And uh, Jacob's just a scrapper. And I'm totally Team Jacob. So. Yeah. <laughs> Those were all the. That was the logic behind all of it. That's, that's why he insisted. Yeah, I was like, I'm Team Jacob. He's like, this isn't the same thing. I was like, doesn't matter. Always Team Jacob. <laughs> no one was even on the other side of the argument. <laughs> I was looking in a mirror. Where do you get it from, Evie Fry? Crocky! Shrimp in the barry! The same place as you, Jake. <laughs> Shrimp on the party. <laughs> Didn't even realize that you said that. <laughs> there you go. Wait, that's Jacob, the guy with the hat? Yep. I thought the guy with the hood was Jacob. No. He oh, he's I'm real cocky. Yeah, you are. As a brawler would be. I do got a Peaky Blinders hat, though, so that's cool. Mm-hmm. Fighting around the world. He's, he well, he has a thing on him. Get him off. <laughs> also, he's a child. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, get, lay off, dude. How long is he going to keep crying in pain while that thing crushes his broken leg? Also, I have a headache. Yeah, um, maybe until you lift it, or he dies. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm playing, right? Yep. I do like his outfit, though. Yeah, it's really awesome. How do I run? Um, you hold down R2. You tapped X, so now you're in stealth mode. <laughs> oh, look at my little hood. So you took the little hat off. Shoo, 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 shoo. It's this. It's such a dumb thing, but I like that animation. So, like, it's all cool. right, hats, go, hats off, hood on. No, I like it. Parkour! <laughs> Parkour. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty easy. The... Unity had Unity fixed a lot of the parkour aspects. Parkour. I feel like Syndicate really improved upon the, the got my cool run, hat. running mechanics of Unity. This is actually the first uh, full game I played on the PS4. Oh really? Yeah, I really nice. haven't. I did play. I forget what game. My friend Ohio had one. Hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, I really want to get one. Yeah, it's really nice. I really, really want to get it because I, like I said, still haven't played Arkham Knight. I'd very much like to. Mm hmm. And I would also. Uh, Knack, actually, one of the first games that came out. Yes, I remember that did come out for the PS4. Yeah, I want, it was pretty fun. I wanted to play that. Also, I do want to play the new Infamous. I know it's just okay. But I Second like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that series a lot. Mm hmm. So I want to I wanna play that and. Uh, Battlefront, obviously, when that comes out. Oh, yeah. I actually uh, helped coin the term Star Wars Beta Front. That is good. Like I didn't know where that came from, but I, I just kind of started using it. I like to think that I made it up. <laughs> I, probably someone else thought of it too. Yeah. But like, I didn't see it on the internet. I just thought of it and thought it was really clever. And it was it probably one of the most, like, one of the, like, the proudest moments I've had recently. Mm -hmm. Which, it's not as sad as it sounds. <laughs> yeah, you did just get engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but even that, like, I just turned into, like, a quivering pile of confusion. <laughs> so you I was trying not to think about it, because I knew it would make, it would, like... Psych you out? It'd scare me. Even and though, it, it sh I mean, I get it, it's, it's a, but it shouldn't have, because... It's like, it's like, the assumption is, yes, we've been dating for five years, she's gonna say yes. But yeah. still, I was just like, I don't know, why would you say yes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're dead! The sanitary inspector. <laughs> That's funny. Nailing the fight. Do you really want to fight me? I just jumped on your friend and pulled a knife out of nowhere. <laughs> you really think it's a good idea? I clearly have no... Whenever it's yellow, if you hit circle, you counter. Which is so much better than the system in Unity, which was similar, but it had Oh, it's like... not triangle? I thought it was triangle. Yeah. It was triangle in previous games, I think. That's like Arkham started that. Yeah. Did you ever play the Amazing Spider-Man movie game? I did not. I heard it was like one of the best like Spider-Man games. It's really not bad, but it's it's Arkham with webs. Ah, that's awesome. Good old headbutt. Fighting is so good. Oh wow, that was brutal. I have breast knuckles. You have breast knuckles. I am into that. The only person who's gonna realize how into that I am when they watch this is our friend Matt Rayo. Speaking of which, we want to take this time to do uh, some shout-outs. 
Yes. And we want to thank specifically our friends Carl Pajak and Matt Rayo. Because they are so skilled. Yeah, uh, Carl made that beautiful cartoon intro you see before every episode. Which is just incredible. It's amazing, and uh, he's very talented. And then Matt and Carl together wrote the song. And here's a little Easter egg. The very last shot of the video where we're sitting on the couch and there's a band playing, that is Carl on the drums and our friend Matt on guitar. So we'll post, in this episode description, we'll post uh, some links to more Carl stuff so you guys can see it. Yeah. And then also, uh, Matt has a cool flicker because he takes cool pictures. So we'll post that or his YouTube, whatever he wants. So He's all artsy and stuff. Yeah, yeah. They're both really good people and good friends. And they helped us out a lot. So they thanks, did. guys. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Thanks, pals. I want to kill him. Oh, that was easy. Yep. Oh, I can carry. Load. And if you hold it, you can loot him. You just tap it, he picks them up. And the picking, like the picking up animation is actually really cool. Like, I'll look at it. It looks then. like a person is picking up another person. <laughs> instead, instead of just like, all right, magical super strength now. Oh, I was hoping to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if you could knock him over that way. Hey, guys, we're kind of having a fist fight here. Maybe don't. We're uh, engaging in fisticuffs, sir. Man, I like his fighting a lot. Yeah, isn't it nice? It's really pretty and crazy violent. <laughs> well, you, you, it's just a crazy guy who just beat this dude to death and is now throwing his body <laughs> against the wall. Against a pound of force. Just like, a, like everyone's like, why? <laughs> like, There's children this here, man. This man's a sociopath. <laughs> he's yeah, just like, absolutely he's so a violent. Oh, that was amazing. Right? Oh, wow. This game's fun. I don't know. Still don't know what's going on. I'm not going to kill you, guy. You're good. Yeah. No, fighting for I you, do guys. understand why you're scared, though, <laughs> because <laughs> I'm, I'm, a, I'm a machine of death. <laughs> I, I just slide tackled that guy and then murdered him very easily. Which I could do to anyone, but only yeah. people wearing red. Murdering people. How do you think you would do in a zombie apocalypse? I, I like to think I would do better than I probably actually would. Yeah, that's how I feel, too. I think... Um, I would just be smart about everything. Like, that's really how. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, go into fights head on. A lot of sneaking around. Yeah. Uh, but at the same like time, I'd probably game. have to throw my moral compass out the window. Yeah. And I would I would go insane. I know I would be crazy. I would be probably be crazy. I think most realistically, a lot of us would reach a point where it's not worth it anymore. I feel like... Not it, to get yeah. heavy, but I think everyone I feel like would just be like, this is yeah. not living. I've talked to my now fiancé, Elle, about it before. And her solution is always kind of... If, you, if it's that bad, she would just rather be dead. Like, Understandably. She doesn't want to have to do the things you would need to do to survive. And then, like, l like see all of that happen. It's like, oh, wow, that's real bleak, but I totally get what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. I think the trick is to having a good group, for sure. Definitely. Not about to one-man it. You need to find, like, a crazy guy who stockpiles lots of weapons. Yeah. Or just a crazy dude... In general. Yeah. Really crazy people are going to be what saves you. Probably. I like Eagle Vision in this. Uh, yeah. Is it different than it was before? I don't really remember it from 3. Uh, I'm not sure how different it is from 3. I think it's pretty similar. And you can also upgrade your Eagle Vision. Okay. And in Unity, you upgrade your Eagle Vision and just spread out. Like, now you can see where everyone in the entire city is. And it's like, that's not helpful. Yeah, that's too much. But this, like, right now, if you, like, you see someone, you'll see that they're red. Yeah. And if you upgrade your eagle vision, you can see like where they are through walls to a certain distance. Okay, see that's so kind of it, like, yeah. It should never be infinite. That takes out all strategy. Yeah. And, like the implication is that like oh you just like you upgraded so you got better at listening and hearing for people. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Which is like the circle, like the circle that's like right by your butt, or it was. Urgh. It shows you where the where uh, villains are mm -hmm. when you're in like when you're in stealth mode. Yeah. Because you'll see like the noise. Yeah. And implying hey, that you're listening for the gotcha. bad guys. And we're going to get this guy next time on Game Dumb Fun Yay. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you.